Welcome back to the sawmill, friends. Today is going to be an experiment with new cameras. I've got two new cameras I'm trying out, and I'm shooting in 4K, and I have no idea what I'm doing. So a little disclaimer right there. If the video quality is terrible, let me know down in the comments below. If it's pretty good, let me know, because I have no idea what I'm doing with this 4K stuff. I also have a new action camera, a GoPro 10. That's going to be on 4K also, but it's pretty cold out here today. It's about 28 degrees. I'm hoping the batteries don't freeze up. I hope this goes over well, guys, put it that way. Famous last words, but we'll see what happens. This is not a good log for the sawmill because it does have a sweep to it. And if you're new to this channel, that means it's shaped like a banana. And we're doing five quarter boards today. That's an inch and a quarter on the thickness if you're new to this channel. On the sawmill, I'm running the Silver Tip Turbo 7. I get those from Joe Main down in Georgia. If you're interested in those blades, his cell phone number is down in the video description. So hang in there, guys. This is some really good stuff. This is sassafras. It's extremely rot resistant. It's a hardwood, but it's kind of soft. Chair makers like it for chair seats. And it does really good in the elements. It makes really good uh, decking and uh, fences and stuff like that. It's a really good wood that's not really used for its purpose in this country. People look over it a lot. Got a lot of good uses to it and looks great as furniture. Some really good stuff. And my favorite characteristic when you saw into it, smells like root beer. Makes this whole building smell so nice. I don't even like root beer. I like the smell of it. Call me crazy. Hang in there, guys. It's going to be a good day.
All right, friends, we're down to the final cut. We're getting some good width out of this sassafras here, about 10 and a half inches. This will be the last cut. And I'll tell you what, for a low grade log with a sweep in it, we got some really nice lumber out of this log. I'm really happy with it. And what's left on the sawmill right here is about what, two and a half. Yeah, two and a half. And I think I'm going to do one more cut and make this an eight quarter slab and set it aside and make two park benches out of it later on to go down at the timber frame. So we'll make one more cut here, friends, get this slab done and call it a day. Then hopefully when I go review this footage, these cameras will pay off. We'll see how that goes. But once again, guys, let me know in the comments below what you all think about the video quality today. Hopefully it's a lot better than it has been in the past. Hang in there, guys. We're almost done. I've tried this intro about five times now and it started zooming a lot so I guess it's okay it's not even no it's not doing it now huh I'll tell you what now I'm cutting my head off I mean uh, my goodness come on now barely pulling it up we'll take a lick off there and we'll turn it up take a lick we're gonna take a lick off this tree goodness talk about taking the lick off stuff what in the world's wrong with me but I got, but I got, but I got too much coffee today. I'll tell you what, but I got the log turned with the belly up. We'll take a lick. I'm still saying it. Take a lick. I'm obsessed with taking a lick today for some reason. Take a lick. My goodness. Got the log turned. So the first cut will be taking the butt, the butt. We'll be taking the butt off the log right here too. Oh man. It's going to be a long day, long day. Down to the last cut on this log, and this actually turned out being a nice tree, guys. Tree, it's a log. There's a tree laying here, I guess. 